So this is another development uh, in the case uh, against uh, Paul Manafort. So Manafort, of course, is in a lot of trouble for his uh, work that he did lobbying on behalf of former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. Uh, now, there's another person uh, that was noted that a lot of centrists were talking about um, that was named in the case against Manafort, uh, and this was uh, Tad Devine. Now, Tad Devine uh, ended up being in some of the documents uh, and, of course, a recipient of some emails related to Manafort. Now, these uh, same centrists, these are people that are very, very vehemently Bernie San uh, anti Bernie Sanders, uh, anti progressive. They're like, aha! Aha! We caught you! Tad Devine uh, is a Russian agent. He's a Russian Kremlin plant, and so is Bernie Sanders. And the, the only reason that he was there is to try to destroy the election for Hillary Clinton. We got him! We got him! We got him! No, you don't. <laughs> so this is fun uh, because this la latest news actually absolves uh, Tad Devine uh, of any of that. Um, now, let me give you some context here. According to The Hill, Devine per uh, previously worked with Manafort on behalf of Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych. So that's what they make the Russian connection because Viktor Yanukovych was actually a very uh, big Putin ally. Now, uh, according to BuzzFeed News, a partner in his current consulting firm said that Devine had actually just been asked to assist in Manafort's prosecution. Not that he is a target, but they're like, hey, you worked with Manafort. You might have information on Manafort. Why don't, why don't we work together so you can help, so you can testify against him? In fact, uh, according to a statement provided by Julian Mulvey, a partner at Devine Mulvey Longabaugh, uh, sorry, Devine Mulvey Longabaugh, uh, the special counsel has asked Tad Devine to assist in the prosecution of uh, their case against Paul Manafort regarding his firm's work on media consulting on past political campaigns in Ukraine. When the special counsel sought assistance from us in its ongoing investigation, we readily provided it. Now, what is this investigation about? This is actually not uh, related uh, immediately to Russia. Well, no, what this is is that Paul Manafort, when he was lobbying on behalf of Ukraine, first he declined to actually register as a foreign lobbyist, as a foreign agent. Now, you can lobby on behalf of uh, other countries' political parties, but you just have to tell the government about it. Manafort's like, rules, who cares? No, I'm not going to register. Not only that, but I'm, I'm also going to hide my earnings. I'm going to hide it somewhere else. Uh, and I'm also going to launder money. In fact, he's facing bank and tax fraud charges in Virginia that were brought by prosecutors in Special Counsel Robert Mueller's office. Now, his uh, trial is set to begin uh, next week. So the statement uh, provided to BuzzFeed by Devine's firm says that it had been assured by the Special Counsel's office that we have no legal exposure and did not act unlawfully. But no, wait a minute, the, 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 but I thought Tad Devine, I, I thought he was a Russian agent. I thought he was working on behalf of Putin to lose the election for Hillary by losing the primary for Hillary. Uh, and if that happened, then Bernie Sanders would have won the, the nomination. And actually, because he polled better than uh, Donald Trump, that he actually would have won the election and then Donald Trump would have lost, which would have been great for Putin, except that it wouldn't. You see how easily that whole thing falls apart. It, if Bernie Sanders had won, we would be talking about how to, you know, uh, implement Medicare for all. This, yes, the Russia thing would have come up, but guess what? Bernie Sanders would have actually likely put sanctions on Russia for any sort of election interference. If you think otherwise, then you're not in the reality-based world. You're just, you're not there. But anyway, uh, I, I love that conspiracy, by the way. It's hilarious. Um, hey, look, there, there's Russian agents everywhere, man. D you better call Matt up. Russian agents, Russian agents. Had to mean Bernie Sanders, everybody, right? No, the reason, look, that they wanted Bernie, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Tavine to testify is that he might have seen this behavior. And it sort of makes sense, right? Might have seen and heard what, uh, Devine, uh, I'm sorry, what, what Manafort was talking about, 
and might have some inside information or might be able to say, hey, look, uh, I, I worked with him. I saw the kind of work that he was doing. Uh, and here's what I think might have happened with that money. Like he didn't tell me about this, that he didn't register as a foreign agent and all that stuff. But none of this means that Devine did anything wrong. In fact, again, as I said before, the special counsel said he did not act unlawfully at all. And now he's cooperating to help prosecute Manafort and is not a subject of prosecution. So I think that's very, very important to point out. And now, of course, will that stop any of the conspiracies against Bernie Sanders? No, of course not. But at least here, we have the truth. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.